Hello, hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to yet another Minecraft video of mine. And today, this is another episode of Spooky Town. So, first of all, let me show you around. What have I got new in these houses? I've got some paintings here and there. I've just uh, played around with the paintings a bit, and they look quite epic. There are many different types, like this one. I also quite like this one, but... Yeah, I have hung up some paintings in every house here and there and last time we built this magic well and I still can't get enough of it. So let's do it once again. Ooh, <laughs> Mystery and well, this well, well, this well, ooh, <laughs> um, this doesn't have a real purpose yet. Simply bats coming out of there is not what I wanted to do. Also, the bats will stay there, but for today we are gonna um, get another project. I've um, continued this way along the bridge here, did some more um, big trees like these ones, custom trees. And um, today we want to build a graveyard. So all of you know graveyards are a must have in a spooky world. Currently it doesn't look too spooky with the sun currently up and everything set on bright. But still it shall look kind of spooky and I'm in the newest snapshot. So let's check out the glass. I haven't seen that. Oh yeah. They did quite some changes to it. Alright, so I'll get me some junk together and then I'll be back in a second. Then we'll begin with the spooky graveyard. We're back. So, first of all, let's make some kind of mausoleum. Mausoleum? I don't know what you call it. Basically, like a holy place where buddies are stored. For instance, for famous people like. Michael Jackson, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's something like this. So I planned out a little bit here, and this is also where the magic is gonna um, come in from the well, which is right over there. So it's a bit ways to travel with the redstone, but that shouldn't be that big of a deal. So I'm doing it out of quartz because it doesn't look it still looks kind of um, expensive materials, but it is dirty and stuff, and that is cool. We like that. And now let's just do a wall like this, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So kind of different types of stone. I'm not 100% sure about that. I think I'll leave that out, but... Um, I think the other stones all fit relatively well together and that there, that there and maybe a cracked one right here. Alright and maybe there. So what I want to do with the redstone coming out of the well which is over there. Um, I kind of want to have a an entrance right here maybe with pistons I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do that if I do it but um, the best thing would be just iron doors to control that with um, redstone that would be quite simple not pistons I think you could hide pistons fairly well underground but the problem would be to hide them up here that would also be doable, but then I think it would get too big up here. I might do that, but not on camera right now. So let's put all of them up by one. Mm. And then stairs go around like a so. No, no, no. Actually, stairs go like that. And like that. So, this moss leam is kind of for the um, 
like the mayor or something of the village like somebody wealth um wealthy somebody who's got much money and who passed away a few hundred years ago and now the mausoleum is still here i don't know if i actually pronounced that correctly but i guess you know what i mean like it's written like this mausoleum you can search for that on the internet um I think like that and last but not least this side give me that stair and go around just like this like this okay that should be good kind of going into the tree I don't know why but well maybe that's how they built in the good old times <laughs> Um, then the slabs up top here, just uh, like a so, and then there are more slabs right here, going all around like a so, and like this. So now, let's step back a little bit, all these dang leaves in my way, I think I'll plant another tree there or something, which is kind of going over the um, building. Yeah, that's cool. It's kind of kind of hidden in the um, corner there, kind of. Let's make the wall actually a little bit like this. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And then normally we could just have iron doors sitting right in here. Yeah, that can be that is acceptable. Let's place that back. So now we need to put stone all around here. Let's use some more cobblestone for that. And some more cracked. And that, that, and that. So that is pretty cool. And now the interior work. So I have been to an actual mausoleum myself and it was quite... um. It was quite interesting to see what the what there was. There were like all these different columns right here uh, supporting the entire building and also there was like a window like you know from churches where there are these colored windows and I would love to make one but sadly this is not a too big building so I'll better leave it out entirely than having like four um, stained glass panes in there, which I don't think look too good. So let's try our best to um, recreate something. Definitely cobwebs are needed. Maybe one there, maybe one here. No, not directly in the face. And also the nature has grown in here already. So like so, and there may be a cobweb up there, or is that, no, mm, I think that's good, that's good. And now we are going to put a flower pot maybe right there with a dead bush, so lots of things have happened, it was not watered at all, <laughs> kind of like that, and... Do we want to have vines hanging down here? Let's see. Yeah, definitely. That looks cool. And maybe we'll also have one hanging down here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's neat. So now, I don't know. Do we want to have a skeleton skull sitting here on the chest? Hmm. Let me check out the item frames. How do they look? No, definitely too red in my opinion. So where are the bones? Bones, bones, bones. Where are you? Okay, there they are. Hmm, no, let's not take item frames, but let's put the skull in here and let's form some 
sort of bones here and there and everywhere and what also looks cool is actually the rotten flesh so let's put some of that in there as well kind of everywhere and now let's put in some mm, what do we want to put in there nether star hmm maybe maybe put it in there to as some kind of present for the dead person like sacrificed stuff and that sort of junk but I think that should be good for the interior now it is the redstone part but that should not be too complicated just put two torches down beneath here and I think we don't want both doors to open do we let's see do we only want this one or both ones I think one would kind of give the feeling of it being like broken and that sort of um, stuff but two doors would kind of look more epic like two doors going yeah I think we'll go with two doors we we can then later on decide on that we can just then disable some redstone and then there should be no problem at all with um, the door so I'll dig a little tunnel for the redstone and then I'll be back in a sec Alright, so we're back actually a couple of hours later. I got me something to eat and went out a little bit. But now I've got this and it was quite a lot of work. I did it overcomplicated probably. But now I've got another batch of um, iron fences right on top of these walls. Because I think it looks better than simply the normal walls. And then I have this little sign up there just kind of overgrown by the leaves and then you can go in here haven't done the way into it yet but that will follow in the near future so now let's test it out as you can see it's closed right now and let's go over to our magic well throw in a goodie to um sacrifice something i don't know so let's throw that in there and you could see a little flash effect I've added in this um, glowstone lantern underneath here and exchange it from the uh, glowstone I think which was underneath there so it kind of just gives a little flash and doesn't light up constantly and now the door is open then you can go in there do your thing and then when you want to have the doors closed again just hit that button right there and then you're good so now let me show you how this works pretty simple pretty simple but yet really really big and overcomplicated probably so um this is the redstone line coming in from the well it gives a little short um it gives a short pulse into this rs snow latch then this torch will go off and will trigger this torch to go on and thus there is a uh, signal coming out from here or actually this signal is going off going up these torches and then it will just open the doors because these torches light up that is not too complicated but this button right here um, I didn't really have a wire underneath there because I wanted to keep the grass as low as possible and thus um, I just did a simple trick with a piston and a redstone block right here. I can show you that in just a little demonstration and it just began raining. How wonderful and um, let me grab some blocks. So we basically have that there. Then we have a little bit of redstone right here and then another block on top and then there's the button right there. And then as you can see it goes down and yeah kind of gives the little pulse to the redstone. So that's the piston you can hear there and then the signal from there is going down again via a torch tower like this. 
yeah, I bet you know these already. And then it's going back into the arsenal latch and thus closes the door again. So pretty, pretty complex system, even though it could be done way easier. But well, that is another case. So let's do a little grave like we've got this mausoleum right there and then we also need graves for the other people which lay lie lay lie um which lie on the graveyard so i think the best would be to take some slabs and yeah i think that is enough so i don't really know do we want to have the graves like that or do we want to have them in the ground like this? Hmm, this looks a little bit more like some kind of walkway to me. So I think we'll go up like that. And then we might have a chest underneath there. Just to give it a little bit of spooky effect. Just like so. And then the... um. Gravestone? Is it called gravestone? I don't know. I just did it like this. But I also have another option to do it. So this... Mm -hmm, it looks like a gravestone. You cannot um, really make it better in this way with the slabs. It kind of looks a little bit lengthy. But now I'm searching for um, stairs and... Where are these stairs? Hello? Uh, moss stone maybe? Does that? No, not at all. Mm. Cracked stone? Yeah, I think we'll leave that there. But stairs, hello? Let's just type that in here. Stairs. That's not how you write stairs. And there we go. And close that again. Nice. Throw the stair away. So let's see how that looks. Not like this, but like that. Let's uh, see. Hmm. No, 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 no. That's even worse. So let's do it like uh, that. Perfect. Okay. That is acceptable. And now up here, there's this little free space. I think that can also be really nice for another grave right here. And we've also got this open space right there. But we'll do something about that in the next couple of episodes. And um, let's do something like this here. So that actually looks like, an, like a real... Um, cross see it looks better than this one definitely but well this one is also cool but this one is even better and then we would have the grave maybe down here hmm let's try and get a couple of stairs in here just to support the stone a bit yeah yeah that's looking good and another type of slabs would be great in there maybe quartz how does that look uh, maybe here one so you don't see the side of it actually when you walk into the graveyard and then get a few signs like a so and then type something on there hmm no, you cannot actually place the sign in the middle. So I think we leave it like that, but make it overgrown a little bit. Like so. And then one there. I really like these two tall plants right now in the new um, version. Really, really awesome. Yeah. I think that that can be considered a grave and then we'll do some more here on the side maybe but that is 
off camera work because I don't think that will be too interesting but now let's test it out one more time and then we're good so let's see get me an item this time it's flint to sacrifice and go back there and it should be open again yeah open house open house and one thing that's also nice about this setup is when the doors are closed you can still access it by hitting that button and yeah thus it is pretty pretty cool a small mausoleum however you pronounce that i don't know if i pronounced that correctly but who gives a you know who who is interested in correct pronunciation hmm do we want to have that torch there hmm we have one down there hmm I'll fool around with that off camera a little bit and then we'll see us in the next episode we've done quite some progress today mostly underground hidden in redstone but that's okay that will also do the trick so i'll thank you guys for watching leave a like for this episode and subscribe if you don't want to miss any more of these episodes and that's it then thanks and bye bye <laughs>